Hi guys, welcome to Money Kitchen Addiction. It's your girl, the only money quiddy, double KK. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make gizzard kebab and how to make the sauce and how to make it stand out and tasty, okay? So guys, this is the quantity of gizzard that I'm using to make my gizzard kebab, party gizzard kebab, okay? And uh, I've already cleaned and all, so let me quickly introduce the ingredients to you. I will be using tomatoes, so this is equivalent to five seeds of tomatoes, okay? And I will be making use of one big onion, scotch bonnet. So I'm going to blend them all together along with the tomatoes. And then I will be making use of bell peppers, the mixed colors. This is the seasoning that I will be using. And I will be using sunflower oil. You can use any oil except red oil. So I'm going to transfer the gizzard inside the pot and pour in the seasoning. And I'm going to add in onions and a little water. I'm not going to let the water to be too much, just little. So guys, as you can see, the gizzard is very big in size because we are making Turkey. gizzard. Okay, you can also use chicken gizzard. So I'm going to record it to my preferred size after cooking it, okay? I am just going to stir and then cover it to cook for five minutes. After five minutes, I'm going to recheck to taste for salt and stock gill. This is after five minutes. I'm going to stir, then taste for salt and stock cube. So I found out the stock cube is enough, so I'm still going to cover it to cook for another five minutes. So the gizzard is already cooked. I just place a pan of fire. I'm going to pour in the sunflower oil. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to sprinkle salt inside the oil, leave it to hot for like two minutes, then gently pour in the bare peppers. Then I stir fry. I'm going to stir fry the bell peppers for at least two minutes. Then I remove it from the pan. The reason I fry the bell peppers, many people don't like it raw. So when I'm making this at the party, I always fry this. Because I notice the one that I don't fry, they have a way of throwing, out, throwing off the bell peppers. But when I fry it, they eat it along with it. Gizzard. Not everyone loves to eat bell pepper raw. So after frying the bell peppers, I remove it from the pan. We are still making use of same pan and same oil. So I just sprinkle in onions to stir fry. Now I'm going to pour in the blend tomatoes, scotch bonnet and onions. Then I'm going to stir fry for like two minutes. After that, I pour in stock water. I have chicken stock at home, very little, and I added it in to enhance the taste. Then I'm going to continue to stir fry. After that, I'm going to immediately add in the seasoning. I'm making use of nutmeg, curry, and garlic and i'm also using one stock cube making it two stock cube we are using all together but if you are cooking more gizzard you use more stock cube and seasoning After adding in everything, I stir, then cover it to steam. I'm going to lower my gas. So this is after like five minutes, I'm going to check. So I'm going to stir, but I found out that it's not dried enough to the consistency that I want. So I'm still going to lower my gas. I'm using the lowest heat now. First, I was using medium heat, now I'm using lower the lowest it i'm still going to cover it then we proceed to the next level okay. 
here is the already cooked gizzard like like this when the tomatoes is steamed to your taste or to the level that you want you can pour in the gizzard at this time and mix together and it's ready but for me i love to fry my gizzard so that's me i don't like to eat it on fried so i'm just going to cut it into my preferred size like i said earlier because it is turkey gizzard it comes really big like chicken gizzard comes really small and After cutting, I'm going to transfer into the bowl, then proceed to the next level. All we need to do now, I'm going to place a pan on fire, pour in some flour oil, not much, and leave it to halt for some sex, like 30 seconds. Then gently fry in the gizzard. So guys, at this point, if you've not followed my page, what are you waiting for? Follow, like, and also help share. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much as you do so. Why we leave this to fry? Let's quickly check our gizzard sauce. Yup, remember I said I'm cooking on the lowest heat. So this is it. This is how thick I really want the sauce to come out like. Okay, now I'm just going to remove little from the sauce because I'm using it for my chicken feet uh, content. Yeah, I did more bang with this and I'm, I already uploaded it. I'm going to check the link in the description box so you can click and watch. So I'm making use of half of the sauce to sauce the gizzard. Now I'm going to gently pour in the gizzard inside the sauce, then stir it to base. Stir very well to mix thoroughly. After mixing, I'm going to transfer it inside the bowl and leave it to calm for like 2 to 3 minutes. Then we proceed to the next level. Now we need the stick and we are going to also make use of the bell pepper. This is the gizzard and this is after like 2 3 minutes. I'm going to gently transfer it in the stick. And read it in the stick, sorry, and make it colorful with my bell peppers. So, if you don't like bell pepper, you can use onions or you can just arrange it in the stick just like that. But I love to always make my thing colorful, beautiful, and also bell pepper is sweet as well. So, I love to use bell pepper a lot. So, this is it. If you want to make it for party, this is how to make it and it come out yummy and beautiful. So guys, I really appreciate if you watched to this instant. Like I asked earlier, please like, share, drop a comment in the comment section. And uh, like I always say, I am open for constructive criticism. Okay? But please don't forget to share. Don't forget to follow my page. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much as you do so. So this is it. I'm going to gently array them in the stick. And... Our gizzard is ready for consumption. I appreciate you all guys for watching. And I'm going to drop the more bank link in the description box. Click on it and enjoy. 
So this is it. Our colorful, tasty, delicious party gizzard is ready. I recommend you use this method. You won't regret it. You will come back to say thank you, Monique. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I love you all. See you guys in my next video. Bye.